Hey guys, welcome to 10 more minutes. I'm Chris. And I'm Dry Eye Sam. How's dry it doing? Dry Eye Sam. How's it going, everybody? And dry eyes, dry hands. Dry eyes, dry hands, dry everything. Full, full hearts. Three days of animating <laughs> nonstop, trying to figure out how to. Oh, right, no cursing in the first minute. Um, no, you're fine. It don't matter. It's a trying stream. to figure out how to animate in a certain style. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, is it is it troublesome? No, it wasn't trouble. Well, yeah, it was definitely troublesome. I mean, you're learning a new thing, so yeah, it's gonna be Learn a new thing using armatures and trying to get that silky smooth animation for like. Uh, it's for a certain style. Yeah. For this test, and it I don't do that style. I was just like, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> so where did I go? Where every artist goes. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. YouTube and Google. You're just like, all right. YouTube. Well, Google and YouTube are the same company, so you know one of them will have the answer. Should be, right? And eventually I figured out, I finally figured out this morning after doing a janky ass walk cycle. I was just oh, like, geez. this is not good, but it's at least acceptable and I can move on and do other things. Because mm -hmm. when we're animating for the channel, I can do like twos and fours, and mm -hmm. it's not too big of a deal. It doesn't have to have that silky smooth consistency because I go for a more poppy animation style. Mm -hmm. But oh, for this, it's they want like. I can. They haven't said what they want, but I know what they want. They yeah, want get you. very silky smooth, kind of like a lot of interpolation between poses type of deal. I get you. Okay. And trying to figure that and out. And it's trying to get it because it's different from usual styles. It's problematic. Well, there's something that like. Oh, what was it? The shooting at? In Adobe Anime and Toon Boom, they have things called rigs. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, you can, I, I get yeah. rigs. Yeah. And they have a thing called bones in. Um, I don't know what that is. Well, I don't know it, if I've heard of that think one. Think of it like skeletons. Uh -huh, so, yeah, like, yeah. you can connect parts to parts, and it doesn't create the most fluid animation, mm -hmm. but you can use that for um, getting that kind of, you know, very graphic design style animations uh -huh. in Adobe Animate like you would in After Effects. Okay, okay. So I was learning how to do that stuff over the last two days while still doing a test, which is like 45 Eight. seconds of animation. Jeez, man. That sounds rough. Yeah. Ooh. I'm near the end of it, so I'm taking a break by hanging out with all of you on the stream. <laughs> what up? I was going to ask I've everyone. Been, what up, Scare Bear? Yeah. Burst? I've been oh. animating since fucking 9 a.m. <laughs> Zach. <laughs> Trying to catch up on the thing. Jack. What up, everybody? Blue, I think I saw that you, uh, you did your, what is it, 18 month sub? Jeez, thank dude, you for being thank 18 you. Months up. I, I don't know uh, if it was just because like, you were like redoing it or reposting it, and I can't remember how that works, but yeah. And the Korg in the Jar, thank you. Yeah, it does say you two want 18, 18 months. Jeez, dude. Jeez, dude. So many months. <clears throat> yeah, man, so what we're gonna do today. Is we're, gonna kill the dragon, right? we're gonna try and kill the dragon, but it's gonna go faster because we're gonna skip the we're levels. gonna skip this level. I'm gonna yeah, do this first gonna... one and then go to the skip because I get to collect whatever's on this level, and then I get to do the the skip. So uh, it might leave me with a less because it's a random build that it gives me. Mm. So it may not be ideal, but we shall see. More throw damage. That's gonna be good. <coughs> I'll take the curse. <clears throat> Something, I have the fire something one. Blue Lip said about actual days drifted for because 30 days plus uneven months, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, well, yeah. regardless, Weep years thank, you for, that, right? thank you for being here for as long yeah, as you have. Appreciate that, man. Uh, but uh, since the lightning bird didn't seem to do as much last time, gonna do a fire bird. we're going to try fire bird this time. I don't know if it's going to do elemental damage because it's an ice dragon and this is a fire bird, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. And now we go to the skip. Mm, second cup of coffee. Oh, what was the prediction? Will, kiss, will Chris kill the dragon this time? I hope so. You were really close last time, so honestly, it, you should it be able to. It bopped me in a spot I didn't think I could get bopped. So I was like, yeah. God damn it. Like, ugh. I thought I had a good plan and I was safe. You were really have... close. He had like 5% health or yeah. something. He wasn't exactly I killing do have you. I have two bombs here now to do, get into here. It's just one of those things where if you don't know what to look for, it's yeah. just gonna bop you. Well, it was only my second time fighting him, so. Yeah. Final Fantasy XIV did something with a new raid fight. Oh, that's cool. Just I, today. I heard that they are on PS5 now? Yeah, they just dropped the PS5. Our friend um, Jeremy and our friend Nick are currently testing that out. That's tight. They, yeah. got P they got PS5s, so they were the lucky ones? Yeah, they got, they're the lucky ones. So, <laughs> Nick, I just helped him build a new PC. <laughs> and, and now he's got a PS5. Now he's got a that's PS5. He's like, dude, you took you five <laughs> years to get Final Fantasy on your PC and get it working. I just helped you three hours of troubleshooting, and now you're playing on your PS5? <laughs> Dork. I, uh... 
I think it's the Shimmering Caverns I'm gonna go to, because I'm pretty sure the Golden Core is the final level. I'm gonna go to the Shimmering, Shimmering Caverns. We'll try that one out. But yeah, I heard it's really good. They Thank improved you, the loading times for all platforms, and mm -hmm. they're talking about eventually doing better texture updates um, since PS5 is more powerful and they don't have that PS3 version holding them behind. Oh, that's right. They dropped it, huh? Yeah, they dropped PS3 a long time ago, <laughs> yeah, yeah, back yeah. in like Stormblood, but which was the third expansion for the game. But now, um, you know, a lot of people have been uh, clamoring for some better textures because some of them mm -hmm. are a little low res. But I do find it, side, right? I do find it hilarious when people are like, "This game looks so dated." It's like, I, yeah, it's not that. They go, also like go want, play Final Fantasy XI. <laughs> I find it hilarious when people Swing damage look at an MMO and expect it to look. Mm -hmm. I know you don't love this game, but The Last of Us 2, you know, where it's this super highly polished... I mean, it's still a great looking yeah, game. Super real, Dim like, throw damage at great detail type of stuff. It's like, you realize that's a tailored experience, right? And when it becomes an MMO, more shorter time schedules, health. larger environments, more things have to be done. Mm -hmm. Sometimes communities and games are so incredibly ridiculous and picky. It's like, man, you guys are never satisfied. Ooh, we might have an okay setup. I feel that, though. It's oh, good. shoot! Oh. Burst, did you throw all of your all of your couch coins into me winning thanks burst <laughs> you, you might babe in me the community will find this cool and you'll probably find this cool so you remember that crown sworn game i showed you the other day uh crow sworn yeah crow sworn yeah, yeah, yeah it's being published by the same uh guy that published uh, hollow knight i saw that yeah yeah, yeah i it's saw cool. the uh they had a post where it was sharing both of them right yeah, Schmitty I think that's Schmitty. right. It's it's they're like, yeah, we're huge Hollow Knight fans. Like we could tell. Yeah, yeah. I, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> the inspiration's there. It looks fantastic. Everyone should check it out. Yeah, check um, out Crow Sworn, guys. C R O W S W O R N. I it's believe. like Devil May Cry <clears throat> meets Hollow Knight. It's weird, it, but I've awesome. seen it described as Bloodborne Hollow Knight. That makes sense too. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. I've only seen like their little forty-second trailer or whatever. Yeah. But uh, it looks it looks cool. I'm excited for it. And they and they wear their inspiration on the sleeve, which is the way to go about it. Yeah, I mean, it's also, if you're doing a Plague Doctor with a white mask, it's going to look very similar to Hollow Knight. And if you're doing a Metroidvania, it's... Yeah. They've also taken a lot of inspiration on how, which Hollow Knight did a really great job with foreground depth and background depth. They're really one of the first Metroidvanias to mm -hmm. really kind of, as an indie developer, really kind of pushing that mm -hmm. um, to a really high level. Oh, that um, didn't do Ari, and his, uh, Ari and his friend, whoever helped him with a little bit of the art. I know there's one other person. It's not credited. Yeah. But yeah. it was one of the other developers. One of the three developers helped a little bit with it. You know, they did a really good job pushing that. And so that aesthetic is very apparent in Crow Sworn. But it looks very much on its own, like just a rad ass game. It does look really cool. I'm excited to, uh, whenever it comes out, you know, I'm not, More I'm not counting my. More is always a good thing. Yeah. I can't. I'm not counting my uh, ducks right now. Yeah. Uh, for it coming out this year. Silk Song? No. No, no. Oh, I mean, Crow Sworn? For Crow Sworn. Oh, no. I doubt yeah. it. It's probably because they're just doing a Kickstarter now. Not that mm. we're endorsing the Kickstarter. We're just saying, hey, check it out on your yeah, own if it's it out. something it looks very that interesting. you're oh, geez. into. We can't swear on the development, but yeah, at the same I time, if, I, like I said, I've only seen 40 seconds yeah. of the of the trailer and it looks pretty shifty but it definitely shows that if the same person that helped publish hollow knight is in it probably i assume is publishing silk song as well is backing it now it's probably got some meat to its bones yeah then. i imagine well i mean like uh, anything about that could be said if it's anything the publisher, could be said yeah. but yeah since it's, it's a single it's, individual it's showing some yeah. cool pedigree yeah for sure for sure you know <clears throat> It looks really interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to see some good stuff happen and come out of it. Yeah, a good, good video games is never a bad thing. Nope. nope. You never want some piece of media to come out and be like, it's terrible. It's like I don't think anyone ever sets out to do that. No. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I don't. I. We need more good things. Yeah, good things. I like are having good. the problem, like how I, what I had before the pandemic, where it was just like. There's so many things to binge watch. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's so many good things out there. And there still are a lot of things. Yeah. I just watched that new uh, Arlo movie. Oh, yeah. Um, Arlo the Alligator Boy. I don't, Twitter art friend, I know. Um, I guess that's the way to define it. I uh, did the character design for it. I want to watch it at some point, mm -hmm. but I, I haven't yet. Well, I'm going to have a uh, really shitty hot take that I, think I know nobody David cares. David DePascal, I think, did okay. the character designs for it. Nice I, dude. This is going to be a, a shitty take that nobody's going to agree with. 
Yeah. I do not care for a lot of the character designs. That's fair. I think it's incredibly animated. It's yeah. a good story. The it's music's very quirky. The musics are all fucking bopping. Yeah. All, all of the musics. Uh, but it, it, there's just something about it where I'm like, I don't, I don't know if I personally like this. That's fair. I mean, design I, wise, it, yeah. I watched it and I had a fucking blast. I loved the movie. It You're was just good. not sure that you liked that. I was just like, direction. something about it kind of irks me, and I don't know why. And it's, I can tell, not for any good reason. It's, it's very, very high quality. It's got a very quirky design, but I think <laughs> also part of it is it might be jarring for some people with an alligator having hair on it. That was one of the big things. I was yeah. like, I don't. I'm just not sure what it's based off. If it's a completely original idea or if it's based on a book. I don't know. I'm not. I don't know a bunch of the history. I just know that. That I have a couple of Twitter art buddies that worked on it, so it's like, oh, that's cool. This would be cool to check out. I really enjoyed the movie. It's on Netflix, guys. Check it out if you if you want to give it a go. Um, it, I like within the first ten minutes, I got past the character design real quick. But uh, at first, I was like, I don't know if I want to watch this or not because. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. And I ended up loving it. To what Burst Punk was saying, yeah, the weird thing about 3D animation, Burst Punk, when it comes to things like The Dragon Prince or The Clone Wars, those first seasons are always mm -hmm. really rough when it comes to animation. And honestly, it's really just that character animators getting used to working with the models and building the tools to oh, make shoot. it let oh, more, shoot. make it more fluid. Almost every 3D animated show I've ever seen always starts off super rough yeah. um, in terms of in-betweens and fluid motion. Dragon Prince was very egregious, but if you look at the first season of Clone Wars, it's pretty, like, pose to pose. Um, and yeah. it's not that fluid. Yeah. I mean, and just it, like when I was working being on... a good thing. Yeah, just like when I'm working on the art test, when you're working with the model and you're working within the constraints of that, you know, there's a learning process, and the mm -hmm. team has to kind of get used to working on the property. A lot of animes come out the gate, and they go, well, it looks great. Yeah, but also drawing is different than working with a model. Um, there's a lot of extra stuff and like getting used to the art flow um, more so. And then sometimes, a lot, especially in American animation for pilots, probably even, I don't know how it works in Japan, but you usually get a little bit more time to work on a pilot episode. Really? Um, okay. Because, you know, first episode, and really just, it all depends on the team and who's used to it and what's used to it. Um, but yeah, Dragon Prince did get better animation by the end. I think they got one more season, and the last season of Castlevania is coming out. That's right. I still haven't really caught up on watching that. <laughs> yeah. I think they said there's plans to do a spinoff. Hopefully Powerhouse Animation gets to do it again. Sam Dietz and Adam Dietz have done such a good job with that series. Mm. Um, I, I guess Tit Mouse did uh, Arlo. Tim House also did Castlevania as yeah, well. Yeah, I know they, um, I know well, they do a lot of not, stuff. Actually, they're also doing the uh, no, it's Powerhouse role. Animation, but I think Tim House helped, some Tim House animators helped on oh, Castlevania, shit. but they didn't animate for it. Um, my bad. But yeah, Tim House oh. is really good. They do so many different things. I mean, they go from, I think they do some stuff like Big Mouth, but then they'll also do Venture Brothers. They're kind of all over in terms of stylistically. I will say this with a, with a whole heart. I fucking hate Big Mouth designs. I'm, I don't. I don't care for. <laughs> I don't care for Big Mouth. I don't care for as much as I love <laughs> Leslie Nope's actor. Um, I can't remember her name. I don't care for the art direction of that show either. It's not that it's bad. I just. I'm just not a fan of it. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, definitely got that kind of Big like, Mouth we're not just, trying to be pretty art style. Yeah, yeah, I've never cared for Beavis and Butthead. I've never cared for it. I thought back in the day, Family Guy was all right, just mm -hmm. because you're like, okay, well, in terms of like appeal, the character designs have some appeal, but they're so stiff after a while yeah. that half the characters never really move. Oh, no, you kind of get tired of it after a while. Um, what the fuck did I And buy? at this point in my life, I can't stand Family Guy Holy or Lord. American Dad. I haven't even tried watching it in probably six seasons. <laughs> so. Probably like ten years from me. I think the last time I watched it was maybe in college. Yeah. Like those... I used to watch it with Mike when it yeah. was like its first four seasons, maybe? But that was about it. Um, I even like a lot of the talent on Big Mouth. I just don't. I don't like John Mulaney a lot, I don't but I don't like. For I don't Kroll. care for Nick Kroll. Or, I I'm sure he's a fine fella, but yeah, I can't get past. I don't, I don't really care for his comedy. I mean, some people say the same thing about this is a tangent, but yeah. Hot Tub Time Machine. Some people absolutely love that movie. That I can't, was cool. 
I can't stand the movie because that one actor, the bald guy. Oh, I, yeah. I he's, he's generally pigeonholed into being kind of like an asshole, right? Yeah, and that's yeah. fine. Occasionally he's okay in a show, but when there's a whole like three hour movie with him, it's like, yeah. oh God, I hate this guy. He's just unbearably. There, there's a certain kind of like, you grew to not like a character because yeah. of one role. And I know that's unfair. And like but I said, then you kind of like I've lean into it a things. little bit and you're like, God damn it. Like, yeah. now I can't watch a whole series of things just because I'm like, my brain just said, fuck, you're not allowed to like this. And it's like, I want to, but I can't. I like him as an actor. Like, he's fine. And occasionally he's in movies or films in small doses. He's similar to the actor. Um, oh, shoot, the fireball kind of He's curves. in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. He does oh. a lot of... He's like a really... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who beard. you're talking about. Yeah, giant beard. Um... He's kind of Middle Eastern descent, I believe. Oh no, I don't know who you're talking about then. I thought you were kind of talking about the guy that looks kind of like skeezy a little bit. Yeah, he does look skeezy. Oh. But isn't he like Middle Eastern? I'm thinking of like a like a pure white bread milk toast dude. Oh no, you're thinking of I don't know Brooklyn Nine Nine, so I don't know the kid. No, no, not Andy, know. not Andy Sandberg. I love him. No, 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 not him. Lately. No, it's like an older um, gentleman. Oh yeah, I think you know what you're talking about. But um, yeah, I don't know of uh I don't watch what... Brooklyn Nine Nine, so I don't know. I'm trying who to remember the about. name of the actor. Is he the same guy that was on Good Place? Yes. Where he was like super buff or some shit like that? No, 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 no. But it, he no, was, no, no, not the, uh, not, he was on not good, cheaty, no, but no, there was yeah, another no. guy, I think. He was on Good Place as well. He was like the crazy oh. guy in the middle of nowhere. I only watched about the first season of uh, um, uh, Do good you remember place. the the guy in Parks and Rec who's the perfume dude? Oh, uh, maybe, but I can't think of a face. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I think we're talking about the same guy. Yeah, I mean... I mean, because, I mean, yeah. He's one of those actors where, in small doses, he's, you know, he can really elevate a show, but he's so off the wall that occasionally you're like, you know what, I can only take you in small doses, my dude. You're you know too who, much. You know who I didn't think I would like? Uh, Mindy Kelly. I didn't like her on The Office, but... I fucking but... loved her in, in uh... uh God damn it, was it Parks and Rec or was it... She was in The Office. The Office, thank you. Yeah. yeah. I, I was liked, like, that's not it. What the fuck was it in? I thought she yeah. was good in The Office, but I'm also not a big Office fan. Um, what up, Carrera? I, I remember you commented stuff. on YouTube uh, yeah. clarifying what your what your name was. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, feel free to open all the locks and stuff. Yeah, but she grew on me. Um, I, I like, think oh, she's yeah. a really good writer. She, I, yeah, I didn't even know that she wrote most of her episodes that she kind of like was in. I was like, yeah, That's she's written a bunch of shows since. I'm glad she's be becoming really successful. Like, good for her. Um, um, and more so, me not liking her on The Office really was more her not liking her character, which is kind of the point. You're not no, 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 that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like I don't think you're. you're I don't think you're supposed to kind of like, like character. many characters in The Office. Yeah. I think a lot of them are like. Oh man, I didn't like how you did that. So That's I just wanted to clarify up. that. Like, I have nothing against her. Like, her character I didn't like, but that was the point. You're supposed to like, you're not supposed to like Ryan. You're not supposed to like most of those characters. You know what? Uh, the actress like that, Jim does, and Pam, but that, that's does, about it. that does pony face? Uh, oh. Or pony head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I fucking, I, I know you're not supposed to like her. I adore her. And, and, uh, I don't know the actor's name, the guy that played her brother. Oh, uh, jo uh, John Ralphio. John Ralphio, yeah, John Ralphio's I fucking love them in that. I was just yeah. like, they're so different from everybody else in the cast. Yeah, they're extremely likable, and he's gone on to do Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, that's right. He's a, he was on uh, DuckTales, and she's done a lot of voice acting and animation, too. Like, they're both fantastic. There's mm -hmm. a likability to their assholeness that not every, like... I think because they play it in a way that, like, they're just so unaware, you're like... They're terrible people, mm -hmm. but they literally don't get it. They literally don't understand. There's a naivete to their characters, and like, yeah. Zach, thank you for gifting yeah. a tier one sub to Walrus Gumboot. Wal Let me try that one again. Like, Walrus Gumboot. Thank you, Walrus 97. Gumboot. Ninety-seven. Like they're terrible people, but you go, they don't really know they're terrible people. Jeez. It doesn't make them okay that they're terrible people, but you're like, <coughs> you don't hate them as much as <laughs> there's certain characters in shows like you know if you're I a terrible this. person. And you continue to be a terrible yes, person. Yes, totally did. That's what that white ball guy in Hot Tub Time Machine th makes me think of. Mm -hmm. It's like, this character knows he's terrible, but he's okay with it. He oh. just accepts it. He just rolls with it. It's like, oh, no. I've only seen one time Hot Tub Time Machine, so I'm like, yeah. eh, I don't know if I even really remember much I of it. I only watched it once, too, but that's because everyone recommended it, and I saw I was like, this sucks. This is not <laughs> fun. Why did I spend time watching this gross show? Burning... Ne uh, burns nearby enemies. Ooh. But you know, I also did. I think I watched 
stepbrothers around the time, and I didn't care for that, but I love Talladega Nights, so I don't know why that movie didn't take with maybe, me. Maybe, maybe get another shot. I think I need to give that one another shot. I think it was the balls on the drum set. That kind of threw me uh, off. I was just like, <laughs> oh. It was so jarring. It was so jarring. I was just like, oh, gross. <coughs> Excuse no. me. No, and it, they, you could tell they were fake. It's like, I've seen real, like. You've seen real balls? I've seen multiple testicles of multiple <laughs> individuals. Because do you want to do you want to preface that? Because in uh, art school, nude yeah, models. There you go. Being nude modeling. I like leaving those things open ended so people can be just questioned, like, what the hell is he talking about? And then I'll answer it because I think that's way well, funnier. That that also leads to a lot of misconceptions about stuff. Yeah, but that's the that's what makes it funny. <laughs> Somebody's gonna hear that and not be fully paying attention. They'd be like, Sam oh. did nude modeling. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I live for. I live for that miscommunication. Oh my God. No, but I do have friends that have modeled, um, and I'm glad I've never seen them model. Oh God. As I've said, I think it would friends. be weird to see a friend like naked in a professional environment like that. Yeah. Where it's just like, wait, what? What yeah. do you do? It's like, yeah, I have no shame with it. It's like, no, that's good. You shouldn't. No, there's no but shame. That's but that's so weird because it's like, I do know you. That's. Yeah. Huh. I, have, I have a clarification. I never want to. It's not that I won't be friends with the model. I mean, you can be good friends after, but I feel as if. I don't want to see, have, be friends with someone and then all of a sudden oh, see them in a nude setting and be like, okay, this is a little weird. How do <laughs> I get past this? Because now every time I see you, I'm going to just go like, I've seen what they look like under there. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, yeah, Blue, that's exactly it. Before it was imagination, just... now it's reality. Dude, I had like the weirdest night terrors last night. Mm. I don't know what was happening. Like, I, uh, Jen woke me up. And uh, she said I was talking in my sleep and how there was two people, uh, two people with carts on either side. And I was like, no, I wasn't. And then I had like an anxiety attack and I, I sat in bed for like 40 minutes and didn't, and I couldn't hear anything. I don't know what happened. I freaked out. I thought it was still in a nightmare. I had to keep biting my lip, which is my like trigger to make sure I was awake. I'm like, if I can yeah. feel pain, I know I'm not in a dream. I don't know what the fuck happened. It was the weirdest fucking thing. I don't think I've ever had night terrors. I've had nightmares, but I don't think I've ever had night I terrors. was awake and it was scary. When I was asleep, I don't remember anything. But when I woke up, I was just like, like an immense sense of dread. Mm. And not like, oh, I'm scared, but like dread. Like, See, I'm never going to be okay. This is dread. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, but I kept telling myself, like, Chris, what are you what are you doing man there's no re you're just laying in bed it's chill you had a great night you watched arlo everything's cool but just immense i don't know why it was so fucking weird oh i can get these guys to blow i mean up the stuff. when i've woken oh, up shit. in that kind of state i've always known what the for me it's always been the dream happens and well, i didn't I, even have a dream I, yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah it was just like dread like something bad is going to happen mm, and yeah. i'm like what is going on for me it's always been just a oh if i wake up in that kind of state i know why i had that dream because mm -hmm. you know i remember what happened i'm like oh, fuck you brain <laughs> fuck you brain you bastard brain yeah. oh shit! i didn't even see those spikes your girlfriend's here trying to kill me <laughs> your ex-girlfriend spike stab you when not you come back on blue lip when i was talking about dicks or when I, we were talking about night terrors he was saying no he was talking about yeah I've come back and sims doing nude modeling or we were talking about nude models <laughs> I it was a premonition. You got scared by something in the future. It reverberated back along your timeline. Yeah, okay. Maybe it did. <laughs> Maybe. If it Not did, much someone like tell scares the time me, to be scares better. me, because I don't really have like a fight or flight, because I can't, I can't flight. And you just have fight. <laughs> I just have fight, because I got bad knees. So it's like, well, guess we gotta fight, whatever the fuck this is. But this was like immense dread, like watching a train hap train crash happen, but with no train. Yeah. It yeah. Now, so if it catches weird. on fire, it can totally cook. So if you're playing this game for yourself, um, if the meat catches on fire, yeah, it'll give you more, ten more HP. Or oh something. yeah. Now. Yeah. Now. Uh, if it does, it I think it I think it doubles. It's been a while. I think it's been a full week since I played, but yeah, it, it absolutely can. That totally checks out, Kaiza. Yes, Sam was having night terrors about dicks, <laughs> and that's why I was having dread happening. <laughs> we woke up at the same time. We just didn't know it. You were over, you were somewhere else. Yeah, Jesus. Uh, there's the disturbance in the TMM force. I bet it was school. Mike's fault. I bet he did it. Yeah. Yeah, that or Kevin. Kevin or Mike, one or the other. Faster swing speed, more damage, increased potion duration. Meanwhile, I can hear Mike go, what the fuck? I'll just take this and hope for the best. Did this do, is that curse fucking less damage now? 
I don't know. Less throw damage. God damn it. I, I feel like it'd be two different here. responses between Kevin and Mike. Kevin would be like, ha, yeah. And Mike would be like, what the <laughs> fuck? Why are you blaming me? Let's go back to the shop and see if I can heal up. Because I'm a little low. I've got health potions. I kind of want to save them for the boss if I'm able to. I know you said how to pronounce your name, but I still don't know. Carrera. Okay. Carrera. I had a dream. Got in a room and got trapped there. Well, that's not fun. And then I woke up on school, in school, and got looked and got locked in the staff room. Oof. No, I mean, staff room's not that bad. Teachers just make dirty jokes. That's about all that happens. And they poop in there. They just don't tell anyone. Bad teachers. Nah, uh, it's mostly assuming. rats that poop in there. Ew. Cockroaches? Yeah, cockroaches. That's gross. <laughs> in the disgusting. coffee pot? Yeah, no more cockroach coffee ever again. <laughs> what you up, Jay? You see one, you see one cockroach in coffee, and you're like, you know what? I'm never using this. But you're like, it's fine. It boils. I was like, that's not how that works. That thing doesn't get hot enough. I, I I'm gonna bring my own coffee. Is it as hot as fire to immolate my mouth? No. Well, then it's not hot enough. Yeah. I mean, I you can't blame the school because there's nothing they can really do when it's that big. Like, yeah, there's gonna be cockroaches. See. Just, there's no way to get rid of them. I just cooked it by throwing this into the fire. Hey, jiggy diggity. And then the fire coming back lit up the steak. Now, if I do it again, it'll destroy the steak. Hey, Gabby. Uh, welcome back from we your three-week break. Yeah, uh, they were doing uh, quarterfinals or final quarter. Oh, shit. Their I final course up. Good luck. I hope that went well. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck with all that, my dude. Uh, let's see... Oh, there was a bomb area up there, and I do have four bombs. Yeah, that sucks, Scare Bear. Yeah, having night terrors or have waking up from bad dreams is never fun. Um, it also sucks when you just don't know why it happened. It's at least nice when you have a nightmare and you wake up from it and you know why. Oh, yeah, because then you're like immediately like, oh, okay, it's just a dream. Shit. I'm still unnerved, but yeah. now I have a reason. No, fucking... I woke up with no reason. I was like, why do I feel like absolute ass? Good job, body. Good yeah, job, what brain. is wrong with you? Dude, my I... heart rate was like racing. I was like, yeah. I've got to be dreaming. Nope. Like 40 minutes of just sitting there. And it was weird because like, hey, it was awesome burst. super silent. There was like no wind, no nothing. And it was scary. Yeah, Gab, when you're in school mode, sometimes you got to lock yourself off from everything in order to get stuff done. I, makes sense. I need to do that every now and then too, just getting channel shit done. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I guess I'm gonna keep healing up. You got mad at your friend Carrera for locking you in the room. Oh, fuck yeah. that. Um, in your dream? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. do you ever have a dream where you wake up and you get uh, somebody did something and you wake up and you're mad at them? Yeah. <laughs> you know, they didn't do anything. All the time. I did that with fucking Jen. I, she woke up and she was like, "Good morning," and I was like, "I'm still mad at you. For, <laughs> I'm still mad at you for nothing." Didn't she do that to you too? As yeah, well, she did. Time? Yeah. I remember that, and she's like, yeah, I was pissed off at Chris for a whole day. It's like, why? He did something in the did dream. Did something in the dream. I was like, what the fuck did it do anything? Dream Chris can't. That's not fair. <laughs> That's you making me do it in your in your brain. Yeah, you did that. I didn't do that. <laughs> I physically did it. I mean, if I did it, fine. I'm sorry for what Dream Chris did, but <laughs> the fuck? I can't control Dream Chris. Yeah. Dream Chris is his own person. What the hell, man? Dream Chris is going to do what Dream Chris is going to do. All right, let's get a real like. Ooh, it's, it's a like cheese. Dream Sam came up and kicked the shit up. It's like I can't control Dream Sam. I don't want this. I mean, I do want it because it's great, but it's not going to help me here because we don't have rats on this level. Recovers health, recovers health proportionally. Recovers the brain's health an over interesting time. thing, burst punk. That's for sure. I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll take it. Mm. Well, now rats will love me. Except I don't. There's no rats. Here. Yeah, Jay Diggity, some people Fake don't. Fake slander. Yeah. <laughs> they are. Yeah. I swear to God, I didn't do that. It wasn't me. Don't be mad. Dreams can be really fun, Jay Diggity, but they can also be yeah, kind of a burden as well. Oh, oh, geez, and oh. some people just don't have dreams. Um, so it's not completely uncommon either no. for that to be the case. No. It is not. I got the secret shop or the secret whatever it is right here. We go downstairs and hang out with... Whatever's down there. Hopefully a bunch of items or something. Nice, Gab. And fourth quarter starts today. Well, good luck with that. Fourth yep. quarters are kind of difficult. Kick um, some butt. Going down. Whee! Cool. Now you get to be the giant rat surprise. No more giant rats. I do have the uh, the mousy cheese. I do find it funny though. I read a comment today, and this isn't just trying to blast them. 
but they're like, you did this wrong in Dicey Dungeon, even though I ended up winning. I'm like, did I do it wrong then if I won? <laughs> you did. I did. But, but yeah, I still it wasn't optimal. To, yeah, it wasn't optimal. <laughs> it was like, I still won though, didn't I? On my first <laughs> try for that. I feel like that's still pretty good. Or like second try. Cowie. That hurt a lot. You you didn't know this thing was right. It's like yes, in the moment I didn't know it was right, but I, no, did I, up, I, I, did I noticed you weren't doing it, and that's why yeah. I kept mentioning it. Oh, and I did. you just kept doing it wrong. I was like, oh, whatever. Yeah. You know, he'll, he'll fucking he'll beat the level. Like it doesn't matter. <laughs> what was it? What I was doing wrong? Anyway, you weren't reading the correct uh, status effects. You kept oh. thinking there was something else, and I I mentioned it lightly, like. Hey man, like it doesn't seem like it's doing. I was delirious. What's for my what's heart working test. for I'm us? Still delirious. And you kept doing it, and I was like, maybe I'm not understanding it then, because I probably wasn't yeah. understanding it. I mean, I guarantee I wasn't understanding. I mean, I was told you it was won. Yeah. That's why I was like, eh, whatever. Let it yeah, slide. I, <laughs> I was just like, he's like, you're misunderstanding this, and I'm like, yes, but my misunderstanding still provided a win. So I'm like, eh. it, it didn't. It what didn't was work, it like? Was it, I just not reading? I kept asking you to hit L so we can read what the status effects I were. Did like and occasionally do that. It, but. You did, yeah, but when new ones showed up, we didn't hit L, and it was like, but we don't know what they do. It says it, yeah. but it's not what that actually is. I think I got into sleep deprivation mode where I'm just like, it you didn't know matter what? In the end, fuck it. I'm just gonna win. <laughs> I'm gonna do this my way. In it's the, the wrong way, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> and he ended up winning. So, guys, this is how you get down to the final area, or that at least the fifth level area. We're not gonna do that because we have to go fight the dragon, which is what we're gonna do right now after we try go to the shop and heal up. We'll see how this goes. Uh, there is one food here. I did still do it wrong, Gab. You're right. Shit. I just won. Tincture. I think it was, they were talking about the ice mechanic, and there was another, like, another one that they were doing that, like, changed the status effect. I mean, yeah, I don't know right. specifically what they it were talking about. It wasn't random. Yeah. Um, it was a consistent, like, hey, these things do different effects in here. Yeah. They were, like, reversed or something instead of... They dropping. change them up. Like, yeah, like the curse was actually being blinded, mm -hmm. and being on fire was actually like the chains thing or whatever it was. Like your yeah. your items were locked. It was like oh, what the fuck. I learned a couple of that by the end. I also just did. I sometimes don't do a good job of verbalizing that. Like I kind of understand where it's going. It's just not detrimental enough for me to like bother figuring out exactly what it is. It was yeah. It wasn't that much of a detriment if you want. Yeah. It's <laughs> just like all right. Well. There's more mechanics here than I'm willing to invest in, so I'm just gonna. It seemed to be winning. I, I'm not losing yet, so it's like, ah, eh, fuck it. Just, it was the parallel go. world stuff, yeah. Yeah, and then there's mm. still the last level or something. Health. I can't remember what it is. I'm sure, I'll take it. Which um, I should be good for. I'll have time on. <laughs> I think we got one more, right? Thursday, yeah, to try and beat that last level. Love. We should be able to get through it. I don't think it's going to be too much of a hassle. Yeah. I understand the warrior enough at this point. And we can always read tips and tricks if it turns out it's pretty tricky. Yeah. It's like, well, how do you guys like that one? It was like, use the spike shield. It really helps. It's like, oh, OK. Well, then that that kind of really solves the puzzle of it. But yeah, Dicey Dungeon is a cool game. It's definitely, if I had a switch, it'd be a oh, man, kind of a, a, this is a fun little thing to like play every now mm -hmm. and then. Kind of same with Darkest Dungeon. Yeah, yeah. Where it's like, it's a good kind of Hey, I need a little bit of a break type of game. Let me play this for a little bit. Cool, I did a run. All right, time to get yeah, back to Yeah, time work. to get something else done. Yeah, time to go ah! back to work. Am I not getting hurt because I'm not standing on the ground long enough? Or, like, what's going on with this ice? Because uh, I'm getting hit by it, but, like... I'm not seeing any damage, honestly. Yeah, I'm not either. So I think you're fine. Maybe it's a boot or something that I have, and I'm just not paying attention to it or linking it to happening. Well, you haven't taken any damage falling on it yet. Yeah, I think may it might be like if I'm not on the ground. I think part of these bosses are, are definitely like, oh shit. I uh, think for the ice thing, learning how they how they work and play. Yeah, in terms you know? of like you taking damage, I think because you're at the end of the circle and you're jumping and then you're still falling it, like it's already come out of the ground, so you're not going to take any more damage from it. So mm -hmm. as long as long as you jump on the outside of the circle, you're fine. Maybe. Um, like there, because I think yeah. it disappears. So the hitboxes. I think the Hicks box is initi initial, oh, 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 shit. so if you're standing there and you get hit by it, then that's one thing, but yeah. if you're jumping, they're not going to punish you because you can't jump far enough to get out of it. I, don't, I also don't know if it's like, maybe it's my shield skulls? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't Since know. Since you got the floating boots, so that also might be it, too. Oh. Owie, is that this fucker. one, though, we have the floating boots, everybody? I We got a bunch of random stuff, and I don't quite understand or remember every single item that we got. Is this guy not? Oh, that's he right. Only one it. of them. Yeah, you're kind of right, Burst Punk. They do kind of have similar themes, this and Dicey Dungeon, um, in terms Whee! of just RNG mechanics. And Did this not actually let out fire? 
Yeah, you got floating boots. All right, thanks, Scare Bear. Yeah, um, so they don't. The stuff on the ground doesn't hurt me. I guess so. But I'd that still, probably still hurts me. Yeah, and I'm gonna keep. You. I'm gonna yeah, start still jumping, jumping still. But yeah, especially since you've got Pazuzu, um, Whee! all the way to half. Having healing items also helps you a little bit. Last yeah. time you kind of got a little. Yeah, a little haywire with uh, being like, oh, I can't get hurt in the in the in the inky blackness. Yeah. And then, yeah, his his head absolutely was a model and hit me. Oh shit! Can't get me here, buddies. Oh fucker, 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 fucker! Stay away. Well, yeah, I know we had the floating boots before, but do we have floating boots now? I don't know about this time. Yeah, I don't think I don't you think have so. A, you have a pair of boots, but it's an X across. Oh, you know what? I do have fly boots. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I could just check, but I did pick them up. Walk on air. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna make that. my same stupid mistake. No. Yeah. Especially. I'm gonna now play that you this got... one super safe now. Yeah. Well, you've got 282, the and you still HP? got like. You got this as oh, long no. as you don't oh, just no, run Help. into stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's the four. It's the four hits that are gonna be hard. Ooh, 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 ooh! Stay back! Stay back! I'm like oh, yeah, slowed. Don't. Yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll they'll wreck Whee! you real fast if you just sit there. I was hoping my bird would fucking take some of these guys out because I'm like one hit away. Yeah. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! 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 Yeah, now that I know I can't stand in his head. Yeah. I thought it was just his, like, uh, his hitboxes for the ice things. Nice. Yeah, and it's he, one of those things that it's hard to know me. until you actually get to it. You're like, oh, that's a mechanic? All right, then. Circle of transmutation. I don't know what that does. Well, it's probably hey, like full metal done. alchemist. You probably lose an arm and a leg. And then burst, you got a bunch of your money back, I, I hope. <laughs> Ponzu's fragment. Oh, yeah. Who bet against, um... Somebody had to bet, or else nobody made money. Who bet on Dicey Dungeon last time? It was Who was against <coughs> Pat? Was it Jack? I think it might have been Jack. I'm sorry, Old Jack. Um, but they, yeah, no, it was Jack that lost. Yeah. And But they said, I still won, because you still won, so... I appreciate that, Jack. Nice. Oh, you got about an extra 1,000 couch coins? Nice, dude. I Habib. Let's do... Yeah, it was Pat vs. Jack last time. That's right. There's no more health stuff in the shop. Sorry, I'm a giant contradiction, Jack. Just when you think, like, Sam's definitely gonna lose this time, I somehow pull it out of my ass. <laughs> Zach gifted a tier one sub to LJ. 98 gifted subs. Thank you, dude. And congrats. Hey, I got the key. Be nice Shirts. to me. The Pelfrey doesn't speak, but strongly indicates that you should stop. But I don't want to stop. I don't know why it says Pilfer Guard says that, even though he doesn't speak. Can't stop, won't stop. As you stare into the Pilfer's eyes, you get the impression that it's trying to tell you something. It indicates towards its head, and its mouth seems to form the words, Nah. Could it be referring to gold? What? I have the key! What the fuck is the key for? Pilfer doesn't go- What the fucking- I'm gonna fucking kill you guys. <laughs> Can you just walk up? Ow! Okay, you can't walk up to the door. Take that. Maybe there's like a gold artifact you need to give them. Is anyone in the chat? Though? Oh, you know what? The key might. Yeah, thanks for the gifts up, Kaiza, Where the hell to did LJ. The key go? Appreciate that. What? Who's the next boss so I can make a prediction on that? I don't know. I don't, we don't know, man. Yeah, we haven't gotten we to don't it. Know. If anybody knows what we have to do with this. I don't know though, what the key is. I don't know either. You have well, a gold key, but. I'm leaving this area. Yeah. Maybe I maybe I paid them to get past. You <sighs> might have to. Okay. Or maybe it's an option after you beat yeah, the boss. I okay. mean I already beat the boss and usually it was I don't, know. I don't know. I already I already opened up this way too, so I guess the key's <sighs> maybe useless essentially because I you paid let the for pilfer it. steal an amount of gold? I don't know. That seems pretty obtuse. Yeah, I mean I'm I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if you get in the yeah. I don't know. That's a weird one. Well, we'll go down for this boss now. Five, four or five levels? What, five levels? I guess. Something like that, yeah. Um, this cool. area, shit hits like a fucking This is the last house. boss, isn't it, too? I, I think there's one more. I think it's like a hidden God, boss or a secret things boss. things do hit hard. Yeah, like I said, like, getting hit at all. Don't is, you have max upgrades, too? Uh, no, I need one more on health. Oh. But yeah, shit hits fucking hard here. So, like, in an instant, it could just be death. Uh, and it doesn't help that I skipped to my way to here, so I have even of my stuff. <laughs> Let's get that shop open up and see if I can maybe get some help. I feel like Chris is going to have enough obscurity and Bloodborne Burst Punk says, yeah. but unfair if he gets it from Undermine too. I'm not sure I understand the comment, but I'm also delirious. It's obscure, so... Restore's all missing. 
I'll take that. Hey, LJ. Glad to have you back on Twitch, bud. Uh, that's all the health I'm gonna get here. Restore all missing. I'll try and pop that as I get lower, but... We'll see if it works. Hmm, move a curse. The curse is... I appreciate anybody, Jack, that goes for the joke, too. Especially I'm, when it comes to the betting. I'm gonna do the more, more throw. I need that damage to end these rooms quickly or I'll die. Eh, I've just been busy, so, you know. And you know it's how more so, like, my eyes are just, like, super reacting to allergies, so, like, they're super yeah. dried out, even with, like, oh, taking eye drops, here. so that's not helping. Uh, I have float boots, right? Yeah! <laughs> I was like, how do I solve this? Plus burst, I have more energy than I did the last one. What is this? Hatchling. Oh, it's the hatchling for the gin. That's cool. Someone bring a random obscure reference that no one remembers except him to restore his energy. That would be actually do it. That would be summoning him. That's how you summon a Sam. That is. Oh, 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 shit, man. Someone bring something up about animation. I'm like, yeah, I probably know it. Give me my gold back, jerk. Maybe, uh, maybe you gotta, yeah, maybe you gotta let the pilferers steal up enough gold or something and eventually it'll open. Maybe. It's something maybe I it's did. a bonus area or something. <gasps> it's a ghost axe. Yes. These are so good. Now if I could just get the homing ones, um, the homing axes that hit with this ghost one is insane. Speaking of ghosts and ghost axes. Oh god. Oh, so Jesus. I realized that in D and D at level nine, paladins literally get the Lord of the Rings ability from Tasha's Cauldron, which is a book in Dungeons and Dragons that lets me summon ghosts around me. Uh, to when I attack. A lot of people can summon ghosts. Yeah. Or a lot of people can summon stuff. Yeah. Right? So very... they just you gained uh, access to that. Mm-hmm. Called spirit shroud or something like that. It's like oh. Oh, spirit shroud is a yeah. Undead a... warriors surround you and do extra damage. I thought you were talking about the actual summons of it. Yeah. Spirit oh, yeah, shroud is no. one of the new ones. I think like three classes get cleric, summons. paladin, cleric, and paladin, wizard and... or something like that. Yeah, wizard, I believe. There's a bunch of different weird shroud tent like abilities that paladin gets thanks to some of the later expansions Whee! literally get like an aoe heal bubble that just hey you're inside that bubble i get to choose as a bonus action you get healed for 2d6 when does this wear off ah, in a minute or concentration yeah or concentration yeah level nine's a big deal for the uh, scaling and, and dungeons and some dragons only i gotta really sucks. try and kill you guys now uh, <laughs> i only i only get two of those abilities and one of, and revivify is now a permanent slot in terms of having mm -hmm. to be equipped and I only get two of those spells at level nine, so I don't think I get another slot in there until level 10? No, level 12, I think, or level 11. It's yeah, well, because I mean, you just got another slot, right? No, I Fifth actually didn't. Or fourth? So I, if I got one more charisma point, then I would, because oh. it rounds down. So it's your level plus your modifier, and since it's nine, it's 4.5, and you round down. If I round it up, then I have eight that I can equip. I see. Um, but some of the higher level spells negate some of the lower level spells, so you go, well, I don't really need this on because, you know, if I'm going to boost a party member, I'll just use haste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, uh, we've been playing for how many years? Four years? Four years, something like that. God, that is a long boy. Oh, no, it's just yeah. a bunch of them. Ow, that fucking hurt. Yeah, for people that follow me on Twitter, uh, um, you can see Did it say level of, 9 last night? Yeah, we hit level 9, but you can also see one of our characters for our friend. Um, I did that turnaround. Ah! I I, wait, did I upload the full one yet? Uh, no, no I didn't. it was only the line art. It was only the in, prog like in progress. Mm -hmm. I did finish that before I got this art <clears throat> test, which... That's cool. Stupid Photoshop. <laughs> That's right. You fucking lost it, didn't you? I wanted to throw everything to my wall. <laughs> I was fucking pissed. <laughs> the bastard tried to fucking slash it was like me. five hours of work just down the drain. I was just like, I just want to take the largest object in my room and throw it at the wall and then keep throwing it until I, don't I create have a to hole. Patch that wall. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I didn't, I didn't anything. punch a hole in the wall, Chris. I made a new window. <laughs> Can we get a screen installed for this? It's like, no! <laughs> yeah, nope. Haha, <laughs> dum dum, you fell. You guys can't actually hit me because I can stand that on. Was I can stand on this stuff. Because the file oh, saved, shit. I but then the when I, be because it, the computer froze and had to reset, it corrupted the file. Just like that. That cool. fucking sucks. Dude. Just like all right, cool, 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 cool. cool, cool, cool. cool. <laughs> what happened with ACT scores? Free ACT food at the scores. shop right now. Thank God. Uh, math is always worst subject. It was your lowest ACT score. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, math, I fucking suck at math. Yeah, for D&D &D burst, you gotta find a group of people that you can agree with. 
Um, oh, please don't hit me. Oh, God. And I'm then you gotta find someone shit. to do all the work. Yeah, you gotta find a DM. <laughs> Go away, Mr. Barrett or Mr. Which Bird, usually, Mr. if you wanna play it that bad, Ow. you usually, usually end up becoming the DM. Yeah. I'm bad at math, too, but that's why I use a quackulator. Yeah. Or roll 20, which friggin' adds everything up for me pretty pretty much. Not, not all the time, but pretty much. IGPX, that show from Toonami, where yeah, it was the racing show. Yeah, that fucking racing game. That racing show, I think it was The racing game, show right? on Toonami, where they did the mini event, like, way back in the day. I think that was by a studio. God, mm -hmm. studio did that? Mm -hmm. I, I never watched it. I only watched like one or two episodes. Like it was like a weird in-between thing, and the timings were weird. I just remember Toonami made a big deal out of mm -hmm. it. Um, I might use my potion to heal up here. Yeah, full health. But that's not full health. The fuck? Well, I can't look at the potion now, but I'm pretty sure that fucking potion said full health. Yeah, I feel if you're in middle school, you have to very have a very tolerant person if they're going to be your DM because yes, everyone is not exactly. Um, grown up. I mean, it happens with adults too, but especially when middle school people are still finding themselves. Ooh. God, I have a lot of curses. Comparatively to how I play. <laughs> no! I don't have a fucking key! Damn it! I, didn't, I should have fucking looked. That sucks. I well, mean, I guess we're going down. is pretty basic, Blue Lip, but I don't think it's that bad. It takes a little setup, it takes but a it's little not bit bad. Of setup, but I enjoy the fuck out of it. It seems pretty easy and also in terms of combat i got a little lucky makes it a little because danielle easier. helped out yeah and danielle had been using and it danielle been using it for like almost a year ish yeah. yeah um but uh there's plenty of youtube videos out there that tell you how to do stuff i mean fuck man weren't you learning how to like program or something like that i can't i remember i can't remember what specifically you were doing but it sounded complicated as shit and that sounded way more complicated than just roll 20. Oh god. Oh, at least geez. in terms of yeah, it takes a while to set up your character sheets, but once it does, it at least expedites combat where it goes, alright, well, you roll, that's it, there's your numbers. Like okay, cool. it goes they go super fast. It's way better than Especially if you have a big group, it's like Yeah. Uh, this could go forever. It could be it could be thirty minutes. Yes! The ricochet Oh no, that's Sonic Boom. Fuck! That's still good, but fuck. Um I was hoping it was the the ricochet one because then we have the ricochet and it goes splits. That'd be awesome. Uh, if you have a large group, it really facilitates faster play. Uh, for sure. I mean, Jack. Yeah, it uh, really just has depends on you want to play it because of the group of people, not so much about the game itself. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, you, you could play Pathfinder. You could play Five E. You could play. It's about you know, the group of friends. My reason I played is like. Oh, I like hanging out with our friends. That's literally my only reason for playing. Not that I don't enjoy it, but there are times where the game frustrates the hell out of me, and I'm like, well, I like all the people in the group, so I'm going to continue playing type of deal. Yeah. Because the game itself is just, honestly, it's an excuse. Like the channel when it started was, the channel was an excuse for us to play video games together. That was the goal. Yeah. Can I get this to light on fire? No, I can't. Damn it. If you don't enjoy doing things... I think D&D is a solid game, but there's core elements of it that drive me fucking up the wall, but at the same time... The like, random elements? The random the, elements. The literal dice rolling? <laughs> yeah. Well, not literal dice rolling, but somehow the magic... But I understand that in the grand scheme of the game, it needs to be built that way because that's oh, shit. just... If it's not that way, it's, it's balanced around that. So it's like, all right, it's fine. But literally, if it wasn't for the group of people that we play with, I would have jumped off that game forever ago. Is Foundry like an actual tabletop role-playing? I don't know what you I would call it. So. Or is it just something for world building? I think it's I just thought for, Foundry was just for world building. I'm pretty sure Foundry's just for it's world building. It's a tabletop. But I think it's a tabletop game too. So no, like, no, no. I mean, like it's a. You can I'm program pretty it. sure it's. Well, I mean, it's probably multiple games. Are we talking games. about the one that you can like? It has like 3D models and it was in beta or something? No, no, that's, uh, that just came out into early access on Steam, I believe. Because didn't our friend, yeah, um, weren't yeah. they using it for one of their one-shots? They were, that just came out, oh, okay. god, I got the email for it and I can't remember what its fucking name is. It's not the one on Steam, yeah, no, World Foundry or Foundry, yeah, it's mm -hmm. a website, it's, it's website-based. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna not gonna take more curses. Foundry is cool, but it is also one of those things that, just like Roll Twenty, it takes a while to get into. And I also believe that 
like roll 20. I think have I have to, a foundry account. Yeah, you have to pay for, oh, not shit. pay for maps, but find maps because you can't build it all on your own. It takes too long, just as is. How do you think I do it? Yeah, I mean. No, I, how do you think I do it though? I build my maps. No, no, you build your maps, but you have assets that you use from other people that you got, right? But yeah, just a basic map building yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, program. No, for sure. I know you build your own maps. I'm not saying you don't. Um, but even having those assets helps a ton, I imagine. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. otherwise you're just drawing them or something. Yeah. Um, but I imagine it's the same thing for Foundry. Like, eventually you'll be able to, like, once tools and stuff. It's an actual virtual tabletop? Okay. Stuff, yeah. I might not be thinking of the same thing, then. Um, Foundry VVT does sound familiar, though. Uh, I was thinking of one where you can, like... It's almost like Roll20, where you can build up your own world and you and you make your own uh pages that depend on yeah, you know i'm for, sure you it's, can it's download good for other people's stuff. stuff too if you want like hey someone built a castle all right i'll change some things but here's a castle layout um not for the stuff i use unless you're talking about foundry no 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 i'm talking about foundry oh just because i imagine with 3d oh, models shit. unless it's it probably just takes a while i imagine depends on also how frequently you play yeah oh no please don't please if don't. you have a month in between games then yeah you have a long time to build your shit um, depending, on like, yeah, depending on your schedule and stuff. Go away. If you're rolling 22 D6s, you Whoa. will kill any anything. You'll kill everything. Like, what are we talking about? Fall damage or lava no, damage? No, first punk says, my dwarf the boulder now rolls 22 D6s and hits for 231. What the fuck kind of game are you tech. playing? Unless your characters have 400 HP, I don't want <laughs> to play that game. Because <laughs> 230, like 231 damage? I'm level 9, and I, as a paladin, I have 97 HP. The fuck kind of game are you playing? Yeah, like, d and is all about low HP. I don't want to have to add that much goddamn math. That's why they simplified it in 5e. Yeah, that's that's too much. Go play Warhammer. <laughs> Later, Scare. Thanks for coming to the stream. I'm just fucking with you, man. Yeah, thank you, Scare. Bye. Now, there's, there's plenty of games where you can feel like high numbers, yeah, evaluate. I, I don't think that's... I haven't played a whole lot of other TTRPGs and stuff. There's some that have super high numbers, um, but, but yeah, yeah. they're not that. They're not my. That's too much. I think that's math. why they went a little simpler with 5e, because they were like, yeah, we got to the point where it was just, it was ridiculous amounts of like doing math and rolling dice, yeah. and you need to invest into like forty dollars into dice just to get a basic fucking well, yeah. Because like at of, level twenty, I think the most a paladin could have is around probably two hundred, somewhere under two hundred fifty HP if you got all perfect rolls and rolled for your HP or something like that. Hmm. Um, oh, that doesn't light on fire. Okay, well I'm just gonna just gonna. Because unlike that. Jen, I don't I don't try and luck my way into getting higher HP though she I don't know how she well. fucking does it she does it every time Jen rolls for her HP every time and every time she beats the odds and yeah. she does it in front of everyone and we're like how it's ridiculous <laughs> last night she us. rolled a d8 and she got a fucking seven yeah. it's like how this is like the ninth time you've done that one of these times it's gonna screw her though <laughs> yeah but she's like... gained so much it doesn't matter anymore yeah it doesn't matter she's, it'll all be a net positive for her <laughs> i know i'll roll low so i always just take the average i'm like you know what i'll take 10 hp versus getting 4 hp i rolled super low on danielle's campaign or the one that i'm actually get to be a player in mm -hmm. and i rolled two ones she let me roll them re-roll them again one was a two one was a three i was like i still got fucked yeah those are still the two is the lowest she would allow me to get to me it's too much to risk where it's just like oh well, she I'm... made me roll for it no, i didn't no, even I get, get the it. option to take the average and i was like yeah so i have a I have a uh, hill, I think it's a... Hill giant? I think, no, no, I think it's a hill dwarf where I have um, the more XP, or the more the more HP, you know, and I'm a dwarf, so I have like dwarven resilience and all this other stuff, and I have, I have bard level, we have two bards in our class, bard level HP. Mm. And I'm like, fuck! Yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to help like tank, and I can't even fucking do that. I think me and Mike have always taken the average because we just go, you it's know what? It's the safer bet. It's it's the average, which is half plus one. Yeah, I feel like the game is balanced around that more mm -hmm. than it's balanced around the just random. Oh, you just have a ton of HP. It's like it probably feels like I never have enough HP as it is. Low level, yeah, you can absolutely get bopped in one crit. Yeah. Danielle, or the one who started getting us into D and D. The one that I'm currently playing with. Uh, she killed me with a fucking bugbear my very first game. Killed me in one hit. Just pushed one fucking hit. Then she killed the other NPC. Then she killed our other friend in one hit. 
Yep. And then she called in like a Deus Ex Machina NPC to come help us out and revive us. And she killed that with two hits. I'm like, cool. This is a fun game. <laughs> this is great. I got fucking wrecked. Danielle was pretty new to DMing at that moment too. I, I but, believe yeah. she did it right. Yeah. Just, she just she just had no fucking chill yeah. about killing us. She was like, well, the dice say he critted and he critted again. And here's the double swing and he's going for the kill. It's like fucking hell. I'm this is my first day playing. I'm not a DM, but I would have I got wrecked in one round. I would I didn't get a rebuttal. I just my, fucking died. Yeah, I would have <laughs> held my okay. attack. It's like I'd still play the character, but I'd know like the point of me is to not make it hard, but not murder my team. <laughs> I played Pathfinder once or twice previously before that, but it was a while ago. I actually played with our friend Emily. I don't think I know that friend. The uh photographer. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I was like, it was really cool. I just came out into the what the fuck? It's a salamander. Without That's a tail. the salamander tail I've been getting. The item. Oh no, he took its tail. It's oh jeez. I mean, I found it in the dungeon. He must have left it upstairs. Great. Oh jeezers. Oh god. Oh fuck, man. Oh, they bounce! <laughs> oh, no! Hey, okay, this isn't that bad. And then I was like, never mind. Well, this is like phase one or whatever. Ow! Ooh, that took out a chunk it of HP. It took 30 damage, yeah. I don't know what is going on. Oh. Did he just, they're not coming back? I think, nope. oh! They're meteors. Fucking. I was like, wait a well, minute. Well, they're not hitting me because they got fly, fly, fly boots. I can't talk. I am yeah. scared. So Can I just do bounce. this? Oh no, help, 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 help! That's I'm on fire! Yeah, I'm on that's fire! Why you don't do that. Now it's Feetsy's lead. Yeah, uh, owie! Lava burns. Help! I mean, that's the only way to really get some damage if he stops, huh? It's just I gotta pull out. Oh, quick! Shit, shit, shit! What is, what is mean, he doing? What is he doing? Make him stop. Why has he got a fucking out. light? Oh, oh he's can't invincible. hit him right now. Oh no! Please stop with this. There's probably somewhere on his body you need to oh, hit so God. he stops oh, excre God. excreting that. Like his tail or some shit? Like, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, no, he oh, no, stops. He's, it, maybe it's just a time thing. Oh! Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Jesus. God. <laughs> this is challenging. Oh, no. Yeah, I played... The first thing I actually played was Pathfinder way back in the day with our friend Emily, who's a photographer, and, uh... She was nice enough. I came out to go get a snack. Uh, we were roommates. We were roommates. I feel bad and, that I forgot uh, Emily. <laughs> They're yeah. a good friend. Well, you're like, the one who yeah. usually reminds me that we know them mutually. Yeah. Um, me and, and Emily uh, were she in was, band together. We like, were good buddies doing? back in high school. And they were they were just rolling dice and having fun. They were having a bad, They were having a fucking blast. And I was like, I want to have a blast. Yeah. And they're like, cool. We can make you like a like a sniper class, so you don't have to be like in the fray right away, and you can just kind of assist and help mm. out. They made me a fucking character in like 40 minutes, and it was it was incredible. I had a fucking that was my first tabletop uh, role playing yeah, game. Yeah, just experience. make sure to avoid him. Yeah, I don't see any way to. Do anything. My first one was stealing all of the gold from our friend. I told Sam I needed a, another player, so he chose a thief. Yeah. And then at the end of the session, he fucking he was like, "Hey, my party, I'm gonna steal from them because I'm a thief." And I'm like, what "The fuck, man? That's not a good way to introduce yourself." I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna play with you. I'm also gonna steal from to you." To be fair, one of the players kept chastising me the whole no, no, time. No, that's true. That's true. I was true. just like, "Oh, they think I'll be nice because I'm me." Oh, no, 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 no. I grew up with three brothers. I'm in it to win it. They don't know who I am. Oh, shit, he can actually throw also, up Also, I was going to give the gold to the pl people that we're supposed to give it to, but I was just like, you know what? Just to mess with them, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Because I didn't know. I never played before. Please don't like, fire. Please don't fire. I told our friend Danielle, it's like, can I try and steal the money from this character? They're like, yeah, they're standing next to a waterfall. They probably can't hear you. I'm like, okay. I don't know if that did anything. I don't so I rolled a dice. I think I got a nat 20 or like an 18. It's just like, yeah, ah. you successfully steal... Roll again. It wasn't that much because we were like level two. I think two I stole like yeah, but like I stole like seventy five percent of the gold or something. Oh no 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 yeah, yeah. you almost stole all of it for the it's entire great. sessions days worth of of stuff. And I was like, all right, later guys. And oh, like, is my he bomb flew like, is he coming it. back? He's like, they're like, I don't know. He was just here to try out the game. They're like, what? Yeah, he stole the gold and then dipped from the from playing with us. Hey man, Eva was going on. I had to watch the Street Fighter finals. Sha! Yeah. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. It did. I saw something flash up. Oh boy. Oh, fuck meteors. That taught my friend a valuable lesson. If and then we ended up playing with them later, right? Yeah, we did end up playing with them later. Taught oh him a no, not lesson. the fire! Don't fuck with Sam. 
He's Sam will be a vindictive asshole and steal all of your fucking gold yeah. if you let him. Yeah, join our Patreon. <laughs> I was like, I would have eventually given the gold back, and I was gonna give it to the NPC we were like supposed to give it to anyways. Oh my god. But I didn't tell them that, and I just left it. And for a long while, it was a running joke between us that my friend would just call me a thief and be like, "You swindler!" Oh. They weren't oh. wrong. Oh. You almost got it. Oh. Just be careful. I know, I know. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> It was also a brand new campaign. It so was yeah. It was day one. It was you like day first one. Played. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can I get uh, this shit is in the lava? Can don't, I? I'm don't. gonna fucking die. You have the fighting boots, don't you? No, but the lava still hurts me. Oh. What was that? That was a new. It was like a little monkey well, or something. You can grab the coin without getting in the lava. <sighs> what the fuck? Is it? Is it not boiling anymore? It's still boiling. It's still boiling. How much damage do you take? I think it'll fucking kill me. Then don't do it. Yeah! <laughs> I needed, I wanted the, bl the blueprint. Well, you didn't take any damage, so the final. I don't know so. if I could get it, but I don't know if I could get the blueprint because you only can fight the boss once. Oh, it yeah. might be a single time off. Well, yeah, it doesn't look like it, it hurts me. Okay, you're good then. Yeah. It's now less yellow. Yeah. Lava cool. Lizard is dead. What the fuck? Owl man. I only saw the guy at the top center for a second That's... until I saw the one to the right and I went, oh no. What is the truth here now? Jesus. What the fuck is, yeah, it does look like the truth, huh? I'll talk to this one first. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean to see your shit. I'm sorry, I just walked over to it. Congratulations, peasant, on surviving the undermine. <laughs> Perhaps your kind is not as frail as it looks. <laughs> Come find me near the archways in the lobby if you're ready for a greater challenge. Mm, new game plus. I guess, huh? Who are you? You look like a, like a Hollow Knight character. Kind of do. Mm. Mm. Job well done, human. All of the ancients have been quelled, which means they can once again be restored. Uh, okay. When you lift the summoning stone, they will be revived and granted additional strength. It's New Game Plus. They're just like, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna come back. They're gonna be stronger though. And thus the cycle <coughs> continues, <coughs> as it is meant to. What's with the, uh, the gate with the five stone spots though? Uh, maybe that's how you break the cycle. Yeah. Ah, job well done, human. This is the same thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the ancient is. Yeah, yes. same thing. Okay, can I go in here? Who builds a waterfall in a video game and doesn't put secret stuff behind it? People that built this game. <clears throat> Damn it. What was the crystals? <gasps> that I picked up raises the ancients and grants them new power. Well, yeah, go ahead and do it. Okay. Summoning stone one. The I don't old like the fact that there's a one there. <laughs> yeah, I know. Or never truly destroyed. Oh! It fucking kills me! Or maybe it doesn't. No. That's just the... <gasps> I have 40 health. Did it take away all of my upgrades? Don't tell me that. We're never touching this again. Though. Yeah, no, if that's the case... I mean, I thought there was like one more boss behind that gate with the five coins, but... <clears throat> if it takes away all my shit, I've already got like 40 hours into this game. Mm, your upgrades seem to I'm be I'm a there. pro now?! Whoa, holy shit, okay. That's new. I was wondering about that. Bet it's called Baba Yaga. <clears throat> Please. Talk. Valine the Crone. Hello, little one. My name is Valine, and I am the witch of Narnol. The beautiful birds brought word to me that the balance of power here has been tipped. You have grown powerful, but also arrogant. I have been? <laughs> He's like, I just landed in the mine. I think you might be talking about my, my daddy and mommy from other generations. Yeah. Perhaps you need to be cut down to size. Dude, that's my cousin Fred. He's kind of a dick. Hex? What is Hex? Probably like detriments. All items are hidden. What is yeah. that? Oh, it's a fucking... Yeah, it's like the skulls from it's Halo. It's like a beholder almost. Mm-hmm. Oh, that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm down in, at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant in terms of, yeah, it's dead. Oh, no, I know what, yeah, I know what hexes are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I meant the thing, literally, yeah. The, yeah, the yeah, red that's tentacle definitely monster. a beholder. Items shift shapes and morph like an efe ephemeral haze. The form eludes the senses of if the, as if the eyes and ears cannot focus. Yeah. You mean my Aunt Jessie, who just beat the game? Yeah, I know. That was her. Don't get mad at me, old crow lady. Yeah. God, Jessie, why would you do this and bring a 
bring about well, bring health... about uh, terribleness yeah. for my video game. Your health is back at 480, so you're yeah. fine. Yeah, take damage when picking up gold. What the fuck? Enemies have double. Is this just to make it harder? Yeah, it's uh, you probably get achievements for yeah. Just like in Halo, where you can get special achievements for putting on all the skulls and beating the legendary campaign type of deal. Is that a thing? Yeah. Oh I'm pretty shit. Sure it is. Old man's gone. Old man, where'd you go? Oh, he's probably up by the gate. Let's yeah. see, we got new we got new buddies. Let's hatch them. 180. I can do that. Yeah, do both of them. Jin, a cunning ally that sees through deception. Oh, he probably helps me see uh, invisible walls. Cool. Or, or uh, uh, false false walls. Yeah, what probably. What does the Rambo monkey do? Okay, we got new we got new currency. Looks like a time splitter monkey. Oh god, I monkey's don't know. got a gun. Yeah. I was thinking of the monkey from uh, Metal Slug. Oh, yeah, or the monkey from Metal Slug. That's a good one, too. A hard punching apian. It was once a pet to Baba. Nico escaped and is rumored to have been plotting his revenge ever since. Okay. Thought maybe Baba Yaga is in this game. Yeah, maybe. Oh, it looks like the flying monkeys from oh, yeah. Wizard of Oz, actually. It's like a witch, so instead of calling her the Wicked Witch or whatever. Yeah. Crafting costs are punching little APN. animation. Attacks enemies in melee, increases the critical to chance. It's fist critical all right. strikes like, from Nico and punch. peasant. The critical strikes it's from Nico pugilist. deal damage to all nearby enemies. Flying monkey pugilist? Flying le Jesus. at higher levels. What does the gym do? Looks cool. Yeah, do. Jin, a cunning ally that sees through deception. Yes, uh, Jin points a uh, keen perception. Points out bombable walls. That's what we figured. I like that cycle animation for the, the cyclone. It looks That's good. good. Yeah. That's hard. The Jin points out hidden staircases for the peasant. Oh! Every few rooms, the Jin will discover a treasure chest for the player. That's fucking cool. Doc Brown. Oh, the actor. That would be um. It's not, his name's not Doc Brown. It's, uh, that's, uh, Rick Sanchez. Mm, from Back <laughs> to the Future. What's the name of the guy that... I, I actually don't know his, uh, his name. You know I'm Christopher bad. Christopher Lloyd. Yeah, you know I'm bad with, like, remembering names. Yeah. yeah. It's as more soon as somebody so to, says their name, I'm it's like, more oh, so yeah. to get my brain thinking, like, what is their name and dig into the depths. Did you also know that Christopher Lloyd was the librarian in the Page Master? I did. I did. Yeah. I, I, I remember these things. <laughs> I don't know why. Don't ask my brain. Well, What's the Pythagorean theorem? I don't remember. It's uh, something about distances and. and but Christopher Lloyd measuring. being in the Page Master, the '90s film about books, and like all Page that Page Master stuff. was awesome. It was cool. Peasant, come here. Come hither. Come hither unto me. My name is Lilith. We have arrived, and the end is nigh. In the final hour, I must do my best to fix the error of my ways. Peasant, when mountains collide, we are all shook by the quake. Take this, peasant. It's middle finger. Yeah, he uh, also voices the woodsman in uh, uh -huh. Over the Garden Wall. Yep. He's really good. I hope it helps even a little. Uh, does Got it? Got a radish. Blessings. Healing is more effective. That's, That's cool, cool, though. Should you give me more? Yeah, can I get more? Can I get a couple more uh, fucking... Uh, nope. Increases. Oh, but I can buy more. These are permanent, by the way. Oh. Increases chance for critical Do strike. Increases throw size. Size? Wait, did I read that right? No range. There we go. That's still. I think I was just wishful thinking. <laughs> yeah, these are permanents that I get. From what do you mean the internet ads were true? Hey! 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 Oh, I can only have once. Okay, it's not permanent. Uh. Oh no, it is permanent, but I can. Oh hey, he's over there. What the? I saw the truth him, is yeah. just chilling. Wait, how does that work? No, hey, how does that, I still have it unlocked. I think, okay, maybe these ones aren't permanent then. It may not still hold up, Burst Punk. That is a hell of a range! But as a kid, the Page Master was very different from Disney films. It's oh, just very yeah. interesting at the time. I I really liked it. It was Spooky. one of my sick movies to go watch it. when I was. Um, yeah. I, I really VHS. liked it too. I liked the Frankenstein. Uh, Mm, that's right. The Franken book, and, and then the, the pirate book, book, and, and then, then the, the fairy, book. Yeah. fairy godmother. Yeah. Was it? Um, hey, striker. Uh, Queen Latifah. Whoopi Goldberg, I think, voiced the, the uh, fairy book. Dude, it's been since I, I was in was grade Whoopi. school. I cannot remember. Um, I don't remember the other two actors well enough, though. One of these is required to cross over to the other bind. Do you have the requisite materials? One of them? Sure. Very well. Steal yourself, peasant. This will take but a moment. <laughs> That's a cool animation. Okay, I wasn't... No! I... 
<laughs> okay, that was going for this door. Well, you're going for that door now. I guess, huh? The exit's closed. You're dead now, son. Yeah. What the fuck? Hey, Striker, thanks for gifting a tier, tier one, one sub to now. the Team War Minutes community. Thank um, you, dude. What the fuck is this? Gifted 214. Thank you. Other mine and gifted one to now. Now. I, I can't. A GW. It's just, yeah. Items will sometimes duplicate themselves. Increased. Yeah, no, I got this. This is where I unlock buddies. I can get. Oh, I don't I think have you a get, buddy. You get to choose what abilities you have on this run, yeah. I think. So I think you only get to pick one from each table. Hard mode. Yeah, probably. Deal less swing damage. Why would I take curses? I'll talk to the. I'll talk to her. G uh, what was her name? D I think she just gives you hexes. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's just the same yeah. ones again. Cannot heal. <laughs> I think this is literally just challenge mode, like uh, Blue Lip was saying. I'll take uh, I'll take Monkey. Monkey Pain cool. mode, baby, as Jack says. I'll take. I'll take popcorn. I'll take this. Okay, some bombs, some bams. Oh, bomb upgrade. It gives you Extra random potion, stuff. Increased uh, range damage. Increased swing damage. Chest is probably something that just gives you random abilities that you've already unlocked. Hmm. I think you just talked to the statue now. Do I have to take one? <laughs> well, there's something in the top. I corner. saw that, yeah. Siegfried. Inflicts pain on the bearer. Why would I want any of this? Why would I want the remaining items? Talk to the statue. You might not have to. Nope. Oh. You okay. literally, I think, I have to choose. probably have to pick one, yeah. I'll take that one. Yeah. yeah. What is the. Why do I. Why is Siegfried here? Eh, yeah, just take it. Oh yeah, over the garden wall is fucking incredible. Oh, yeah, over yeah, the garden I'll, wall is really I'll great. I'll take it. Fuck it. Um, Let's see what it what happens. You should go watch it. Oh, wait, Short mini series. I think you can buy it on Amazon, and you can also watch on HBO Max if you have it. Oh hell yeah! And if I mean, it sounds like you said binge over the garden wall, so you probably you know know what it's about. And yeah, everything. it's it's not very long. It's, you can watch it. It's under also not two very hours. expensive on on Amazon if you want to yeah. try and pick it up. Over the Garden Wall is a very nice short. We just got a Blu-ray of it. It's basically a movie. Yeah. More so than anything. Oh shit! Fucking uh, skeletons. It's episodic, but it's kind of one of those shows that once you start watching it, you just watch all of oh, it no. usually. Okay, so TMM now definitely highly recommend. Oh fuck yeah! Um, I know that Burst said something about D and D style merch for the channel. I don't have time, but I I appreciate the thought. Also, um, you know when it's other people's characters and whatnot, like I make art of it, but no, I'm stay I'm not back. monetizing or anything like that when it comes to that kind of stuff. Slime curses. The slimes hurt me when they touch me. Yeah, that's what the slime curse is. We've seen it once before, and it fucking sucks. Wow, and the shop is tiny, and it's different. It's a good show, and Carrying because it's potion. a short watch, you know. Oh my god, my health is down to base level again. But hey, if you do want TMM merch, we do have some good shirts on there. and we got have a Pokemon some, one um, on there. Yeah, we got a Pokemon one, we got a Abbey Road one. Um, I'm pretty happy with the merch design we came up with. Mm -hmm. I'd have to have a good idea in order to create another one to put it in circulation. Yeah, just an um, idea. Yeah, I got that. That's no, cool. no, and I appreciate it. We, we don't, we don't do much ideas. for merch sales, so spending the time to design more stuff when what we have is already pretty varied yeah, and wide. It, the, and it doesn't, when it it doesn't comes get that to... bought, so it's like, oh, man, do we want to you know, do that? Yeah, when it also comes down to D and D stuff, it's all the references wouldn't make sense to anybody in here, especially for TMM. Especially for, yeah, for TMM, like there's not really anything. It's, we're not go ever going to be a Critical Role style, um, like a mm. podcasting or anything. That's yeah, just we're a never nice going to play our stuff live. So. Yeah, we we do it's enough like, why do you guys have, live. Why do you guys have Dungeons and Dragons stuff? You don't play Dungeons and Dragons on the channel. It's like yeah, yeah that would be kind of a weird disconnect branding. Yeah. It, We'll, we'll reference D and D because we play it. What we need to do is to start selling merch of like baby onesies. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I mean, I think our friend Kelly would be down for that. Actually, <laughs> no, she would totally buy that. I guarantee it. it I'm so sure you're ruining she, my point. <laughs> if she listened to it, she'd be like, "Hell yeah, I'd buy a baby onesie with couch and crew on it." You know she would. Yeah, she, she probably Cause would. Because she said her kids have listened to it before, and she's like, "Yeah, no, they were watching." Uh, I forget one of our plays, they're just like, yeah, it doesn't matter. I, I curse more it, around. I them. think it might have been Spyro, maybe. Was it? I can't remember. Sell a ca comfy couchling onesie. 
if yeah, they if sold they, it if on they that, sold it yeah if they sold it on there but yeah it has to all be through we would them. actually do like the little pillows too if, if they if they allowed for it but yeah yeah that we, would be perfect we don't have an immediate retailer if they had pillows i would totally just oh, take they, the they base do. they do yeah i kind of would just take the couch link face and just kind of slap it on there i mean they i'm, I'm pretty sure I'll have to double check because it's been a while since we've actually looked at That would take merch. like five seconds. It's just a, it's a one by one square of uh, kind of like the ones that we have behind our backs right now. Oh yeah, uh, I would totally I believe it's on Teespring and not our old shop. Oh, all, okay. All you do is just take the basic like black dot eyes and give that goofy smile I give them all and it's like bam, there you go, couch like, oh, no. <laughs> choosing your own color. Yeah. I don't know how quite how it, how it works out and it's been a while since I've looked at it, but we can can retake a look at it. I don't know, but the last time somebody said that they would buy a piece of merch and we, we spent the time to do it, they uh, it just kind of sat there and nobody ever bought it. <laughs> a couple of people have bought I'm some not, merch. I'm not salty. Yeah. I'm fucking around. Which one was that, though? <laughs> I was I was talking generally. Oh, and I was, yeah. I was, uh, <laughs> I was bashing blue. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> just for shits and giggles, because I know he's here. Uh, I, was yeah, it, I was talking about the, uh, the hoodie. Oh, gotcha. But yeah, for sure. Like we're ha we're glad with the merch that we've made, yeah. and we're always open to new ideas. I um, no idea is going to be like unaccepted. It's just like we'll give reasons, yes or no. If it, yeah. you know, it probably won't work out or something. For sure. I mean, if people want merch, we have no reason not to make it. It yeah. just it just comes down to, is this is this, is this something we're going to spend time on and 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 uh, yeah. Ooh, will it be will it be something that people actually want to buy or is it yeah. just cool to see? If we know that if, if we had ten people go like, hey, we'll totally buy this merch. Yeah, that would that'd be worth it. That'd be like worth. It's like okay, if ten people like it, then there's a chance other people might like it too. Here's the other reasoning behind it. We don't we put our profit margins on the merch as low as we possibly can. Yeah, we make like so. It's not like fifteen dollars. It's not a money like maker a for us at all. Like yeah, it doesn't give us money. We just wanted. No, provide... I mean we get it. We get like I think on a shirt we make like four bucks, five That's bucks or bad, something. But which is, yeah. it's not bad. But at the same time, it's like. But yeah, we're not overpricing it. No, no. I they said they allow allow us to set it. Uh, the price margins in the shop. Yeah. And we set it as low as they will allow us to. Do we want to continue on this run, or do we want to try and try at the door this run? I uh, I was kind of trying to. I don't think I'm going to survive that long on okay. this one. Uh, and then I figured we'd try the door next time. And that's probably that's probably the end of the of the game. Because I'm not going to last long here with this amount of health, man. Yeah, that's true. We're not gonna. Ooh, we're not trying to guilt trip anybody also into buying no, no, merch, no, no, Jack. No, 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 no. So I mean, don't worry about I'm it. If just, you guys we're don't trying buy to give merch. adequate reasoning for why we're shooting down your your good idea. I also do that same thing though, everybody. My friend that I do art nights with, which also is not streamed. It's literally just for me and my friends. Mm -hmm. um, There's a brand name that we have to stay on top of. Yeah, he makes yeah. he makes t-shirts, and I was oh, forgetting no. for a long time to buy one, and I didn't remember until probably a week ago after he put it up. A month ago, um, so I understand that. <laughs> monkey's punching that bush. I understand that. I'm, I'm gonna buy this, and then also not getting to it till a month. I've been meaning yeah. to buy new shorts, and I haven't bought new shorts yet either. I oh, did get new back. shoes though. Yeah, I'm gonna see. See, oh no! See yeah. how much I'm about. I'm close to dying already, and it's like I didn't do anything really crazy wrong yet. Oh my god. Yeah, it's not gonna be. This is a challenge run, man. I'm not gonna get that far. I, I figured. Uh, 390 uh, gold. I'm also getting like no gold. Yeah, my shorts are kind of bleached, and they go, they run short, so I want to get them the next pair a little bit longer. Yeah. I think the idea of the uh, I got cursed by going down a level. Wow, that is harsh. Yeah. Um, no, I, I think the idea you. of people wearing merch is because we we want to. Uh, People asked. People asked. So we created we it. it. That's why we made the Patreon. And people were like, hey, we want to support you guys. We're like, well, people keep telling us to do a Patreon. Let's just do it. And that's um, why that's why anything happens on the channel. You guys dictate to us because, you know, we want to provide stuff oh that you guys like. Same thing with the games that up. we play. We play games based on what you guys enjoy because we get enjoyment out of you guys getting enjoyment. That um, makes sense. But no more kindergartens. If we do another kindergarten, I'll hang off you. Uh oh, uh oh, little buddy stuck. Oh no, he's good. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> uh, the uh, I forgot what I was gonna fucking say now. The, Sorry uh, about that. The b b b b b b b. Uh, we started the merch just because you guys were interested in and in getting yeah. some stuff, and you know, a lot of you guys wanted stickers and stuff. Um, Which I love but it stickers. Was, it, that's why we set the profit margins down because it's not 
you don't make that much money from no. it. So I just it think like, it's rad when people are like, I got stickers, and they put them on stuff, and it's we're like, already, hey. We're already hassling Sam about making new emotes and stuff for uh, fucking yeah. Twitch and everything. And, and I like doing it. Yeah. yeah. So, he's, I mean, the hype he, train will come eventually. He's already got a honeydew list already, so. <laughs> honeydew list. Which is really, like, honey, do this. Uh, you know, like a yeah. mow the lawn. You know, I'll get to it when I can get to it. Make new emotes. I would like a new face on the thumbnails. I would. Like, it's like yeah. I got enough backed up stuff. Like that's why. That's why merch takes kind of like a backseat. That's why, and we've gotten pretty much ahead on most of the stuff for the channel. Like yeah. new intros have been done. Get a heal out. You'll get to see the Nintendo intro. I think once Pokemon, Pokemon Snap. Snap. Yeah, Comes you'll out, finally yeah. get to see that. That one's um, been sitting. We've been sitting on that one a while. for like three months, I think. Yeah. It's not. It's not, no one's fault. I was like, oh, I knew fuck, that was going to be the case. Oh, fuck, these guys are here. That's um, not good. It was That's meant to be with good. Pikmin 3, but I just didn't oh, have no. time to get it done. Um, so you'll see the new intro. It's still the same intro, guys. It's just more stylized. Uh, um, we got, we got, do we yeah. want to we'll talk about it? Do we, well, if on who's, remember, the, who's the new couchling? Yeah, if you remember the art stream from <coughs> months ago, um, I finished that, so go look up on the channel. Go look for the second to last art stream and you'll see it. <laughs> Is when we're looking on the link couch link. Oh um, god, yeah, the link couch link. Yeah. I wasn't gonna say it. I, I just, I was like, does he want to reveal it, or is that like insider information? Yeah, it's or... not really inside because it's, it's yeah. a post on the channel. Yeah, the um, couch link is is link now. Oh yeah, god, I meant I'm to do. Fucking... Oh, maybe I won't. I'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll do an art stream this Saturday. I don't know. Um, there's the salamander tail. There's the salamander tail. Yeah. No promises. I'll let you guys know. It's it's kind of a busy week. I don't really know if it's gonna be busy or not busy. I might have time. Um. Maybe either we'll, Friday we'll it, or we'll Saturday. Keep it open I'll keep it open. We'll I probably have stuff know. I want to work on after I take a. Oh, I should have. After I finish that. this art test, we'll probably it. tomorrow. Stay back, you bastards! Remove the curse. Remove the curse. Oh, thanks, what Bruce. Was the curse? I just got super yeah. hurt by removing a curse. The Halloween intro is a ton of fun. Um, the whole idea behind the intros is they're kind of. The thematic inter and reusable. Yeah, thematic That's and reusable. That's the big reusable. deal behind them, right? Yeah, thematic, reusable, and ah! Don't kill easily me. changed to fit different styles. Like, some of them take more work than others. The Halloween one and the... Um, I'm going to die here at this boss. The Christmas one definitely take a lot more because you have to change the ships into something else. Mm -hmm. um, the nice thing about the Nintendo one is they're, so, they're based on the R-Wings, so I just changed the color. Whoa, 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 what? What was that? I don't know. No. Reduce maximum health. Cost of penance is doubled. What? Why do I feel like that didn't do anything? Oh. What happened there? But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the intro that we came up with. It took is a little while, but um, I can't see it changing. Fuck. Ever. <laughs> I well, can see myself making more iterations of it. Oh, but yeah. No, I, the intros, we yeah. don't really have too much use for intros. I'd like to do more Hollow Knight stuff, but, I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Well, we made the Hollow Knight intro, too. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I, I'd like to I'd like to be able to use, it. use more. Yeah. Why is this guy the level one boss? Yeah, I can't see the intro ever changing, but I can see the <laughs> intro... Um, Did he hit me from way over there? ...having different versions or iterations. If it's <laughs> what a the fuck night. was that? Pain mode is pain mode. Yeah, Jesus. Wait, wait, what about my 45,000 that before I entered pain mode? Okay, I still have it. Okay, well, I'm gonna go fucking spend that then. Because it kind of go, goes down with, like, game things as well. Like, for Halloween, it'd be cool to do new costumes every year, but then you realize, oh, wait, I gotta do different emote, like, different oh head God, styles 50, for every single one of them. That's way too much work for it's every really year. really hard, yeah. Yeah. Now, what we got, we were pretty, pretty expressive with what we no, got. Yeah, it's good as it is. Uh, but eventually, for, yeah, bigger titles, yeah, sometime mm. we'll... Like for Hollow Knight, Hollow Knight was our biggest have, one. Yeah, Hollow Knight's our biggest one. So for when Silk Song comes out, there'll be the new intro. You saw it in Engine. Steel Soul. Um, Which didn't last long, and it is because it was really challenging. Yeah, yeah, but you'll see it for Silk Song. And if there's another super popular game where we know, like like Nintendo, I made a Nintendo one because I know that'll be reusable. Yeah. If we had a. I don't know. If there was a franchise that became really popular for us mm -hmm. that we knew was going to be. Um, if it was like an ongoing series, like if we start, if we played a Final Fantasy game, I would probably do something special for that. Or like that, a square, maybe. Yeah, like if we're gonna or do a, our, like a Square yeah, Enix a square one, thing, where yeah. it's like, oh, it's RPGs, so you know, I'll design Chris as Zidane, Zidane and I'll do. That's, <laughs> I do myself as 
Tyrion from Final Fantasy 2. Like, if I knew it was a franchise that's like, oh, this means a lot to me, I would do special things. Yeah. Guys, I think we're going to have to come back next time for that portal. Well, do you want to just try it out and see what happens? I mean, we got... I mean... We got some time. I kind of want to leave it open for next time because we might be good at it and make multiple attempts. I figured we test it out and just see how fast we die. It's kind of a cliffhanger for people. Oh. You, I mean, you can do that if you want. But I, a big I, cliffhanger I, for next time. Get him to come back. Ooh. You could do that. Could just be a boss. Maybe. I think we got one more in us. We'll wait until next time. Plus, uh, I kind of want to fin just finish off the upgrades, too. Oh, and that'll take that'll out. take another There's round, the and that way reason. we go in like really like ready, you know. The hypothetical boss could be really easy. Yeah, that's true. That sounds like a good time for next stream. And if you know, if we do end up one shotting the boss, then we'll just do hard mode for like a yeah, little bit we'll and just mess mode. around. We'll do, we'll do an encore run. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I don't I don't know what it is, and I don't I don't think every one of you guys know either, unless we get confirmation. But yeah. Uh, we'll wait until next time. That way we have something, something, something for you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I do want to kind of finish off the, because I'm sure it's going to be an achievement. I do want to finish off just getting this last bomb and getting this last Health upgrade, upgrade, which is two runs for me. Yeah. But I need to do a long run, which is not really that great you for streaming. You wouldn't probably do it tonight. Yeah. It'll be off, it'll be off camera because it takes like an hour and 15 minutes to complete. Um, hey, I'd like to, I'd Jack like to get it subscribe done. With tier one. Thanks, Jack. Hey, thanks, Jack. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get it to next time. Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate, thanks for chilling with us. Appreciate the hell out of you. Um, sorry, we went on a long fucking uh, merch rant. <laughs> but yeah, if you have ideas for merch or stickers we'll based on stuff it. that we have, let us know. It's we, just, yeah, you I know, wanted to it, give a good reason for if why. If the asset's already created, it's not too hard for us to make it there like hey if you would be interested in couch pillows just we, there needs to be enough incentive where it's like oh five people said they're interested you know then sure i'll take the time to create that i don't know man i'm not busy enough no i know <laughs> i'm just saying if we have enough people like voice an opinion like hey we'd like yeah. this maybe we'll do a youtube poll and remind people that we do have merch and be like hey that is something we don't really shill out on yeah it's like if we do have merch just like hey we're thinking about new merch and if you guys gave us options we could just do that and be like even just say like hey if you want this we'll make it but we want to know that people are voting on it and where and it's going to go you know time that's a, well that's invested a good idea for poll I'll, yeah. I'll look into that and i'll i'll uh, i'll review our merch shop and yeah. uh I'll talk to you guys on Discord right after this. Cool? Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys later. Thanks, y'all, for being here. Thanks for everybody gifting out the those subs. Appreciate you guys. Uh, stay free of the credits. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Try and get vaccinated when you can. Wash your fucking hands. Wash your hands. <laughs> pet dogs. Wear your mask. Pet dogs. Wait. Pet cats. Wait. I can't pet. I can't pet them. Nope. There we go. Pet. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Beep. Bop. Boop.